We have components in the workspace now, so let's look at how to work with them. Open the components panel. The all component category specifies the total number of components in your workspace. Use the drop down menu to filter by component type. Use the filter in the top left corner of the panel to select components with the parameters you are interested in. You can search and select parameters such as the component dimensions, nominal values, case code, tolerances, and any other defined parameter. Type a component name or description in the search bar to refine your search. The detail section of the components panel provides a set of component parameters, attached models, links to documentation, a list of part choices, and a list of projects that use this component. Component parameters can be divided into server and user parameters. Server parameters are specified by default in the columns, name, description, and footprint. Custom parameters depend on the component type, such as a part number, manufacturer, resistance or capacitance values, and many others. The part choice list links your ECAD component with real-world manufacturers and suppliers, providing up-to-date information about price and availability. Part choices are added to your active bomb anytime the component is placed, providing consistency across designs. To edit the Part Choice List, or PCL, right-click on a component in the panel and use the Operations Create Edit PCL command. You can use the Add and Delete buttons to manage alternative part choices. By default, three parameters are specified when searching for part choices, Comment, Description, and Name. The priority of entries is specified in the settings. After adding an entry, information about the current price and inventory availability is displayed in the components panel. 